Okay. So um, <clears throat> we're going to uh, practice the observer exercise with a specific focus on breathlessness. But the first thing to do for everyone is to just get a, an aware, let's use the uh, mug or just become aware, are there any objects in the room? You could use a mug on the table. Uh, it could be a flower or whatever it is. Notice that when there's observing uh, of the object, the observer of the object is not the object. So if there was a mug on the table, um, it's very, very clear from your spiritual experience that one is the observer of the mug, but the mug, which is an object, is not what one is. Okay, so the next thing is thinkingness. Are there any thoughts going on? Or is there any interest in thinkingness going on? And if there is, then that is an object. So what is it that's observing the thoughts or the mentalization that's going on? Can you be the detached observing of any thoughts going on in mind? As you do this, <clears throat> now if this seems difficult, and that's because there's too much interest in thinkingness. But then can, is there something that's observing this interest or, in thinkingness? Or does the thinkingness seem to have a location? Does it have a shape? Is the mental energy, uh, is there awareness? But what's being aware of it or witnessing that energy? As you start to do this, you'll notice that there, there comes a space and there's a clear uh, detached space. And it's almost like the thoughts are out there, but they're not you. Now, can you be the witnesser or the observer which has no interest in thoughts? That all thoughts are meaningless. Uh, identification with thoughts is totally uh, of, of no interest. And see then, what is the experience? Is there, such a, is there such a thing as thoughtless witnessing, where there's absolutely no interest in thoughts and thoughts cease to exist? The next thing to work on is the body. Is there awareness of the body? Because the body, if there's awareness of the body, or if one, is, one feels like one is a body, then how is that being experienced? Uh, are, is there, are you aware of sensations on the, on the chair? Or are you uh, aware of breathing? Or is there a knot in the stomach? Whatever it is, that, those are, that you could say that's one big object, although those are several objects. But what's observing that? Now, if there's breathlessness, one of the things to do when there's something like breathlessness going on is to remember, <clears throat> the thing that can really clear it is to know when was the last time there was no breathlessness, maybe last week or even last month, or even it was last year, there was no such thing as breathlessness. So the experience of breathlessness now is obviously something which is an object, because if there was experience before where the object of breathlessness didn't exist, and now breathlessness is here, that means the observer of breathlessness is also here. So that then dissolves the idea that breathlessness is real. Breathlessness is an object which, which is being observed. When breathlessness passes by, then the observer, which observes no breathlessness being present, no object of breathlessness, and then observes breathlessness starting, and then observes breathlessness gone, that observer is here whether the breathlessness is here or not. Just like a, a coffee mug can be on the table or not on the table, doesn't really affect the observer. The observer is unaffected by any, uh, any breathlessness or what seems to be a label. You don't need to make a label of what breathlessness is. It's just, uh, it's just an object. Now, also another way to get to the detached observing of breathlessness is to realize that there is an observer or witnesser here that observes change. Anything that is changing is being observed. Because if, say, um, I put a pencil in front of somebody, it, it's moving. But what observes change? So the observer of change is not the change. So if something is fluxing, what's observing or witnessing that? So as you do this, as you detach 
from the uh, breathlessness, you realize that the observer is unaffected. Or if the observer is interested or seems to be affected by breathlessness, that's what's called the interested. An observer which has interest in breathlessness. So can you now be the observer of that observer? which has no interest in that observer or breathlessness? And does breathlessness exist in this observing? So as you, as you go into the deep observer, uh, the object of breathlessness disappears because there's no longer any identification or interest in that object, which is just an object which is being observed. And so the next thing to do is to recognize, well, what's left? In the observer of the body, in the observer of the body and in the observer of the breathlessness, as you go into the deep observer, the body and the breathlessness disappears. If you go into the detached observer of thoughts, thoughts disappear. Now, in this observing, don't go back, if you go back into the thinking unhook, no thinking required, but in the, is this observer limited or, or has any sense of form within it, like time or location. If it does, use that to see what's observing any sense of time or location. So as you do this, you may get to an observer which is very pure, but does this observer have any type of limitation or form or anything or any sense of body or symptoms? And if it does, then go to the observer of that observer. So what we'll do now is just spend a few moments in silence and see how far back we can let go <clears throat> and go back into the fields of limitless consciousness. <clears throat> 